wants to destroy the works of the devil, not so you can continue living in them. Richard, brother. What are you going to do with that free gift that God offers? Ooh. Amen. Do not harden your hearts, Conroe. God is speaking to you right now. He's using his messengers, trying to get his word into your heart to produce conviction. Do not deny that conviction. Follow that conviction of the Holy Spirit that leads you to repentance while you can, Conroe. We're pleading for your soul. There's nothing you can give it to in exchange for your soul, Conroe. Mm. This money, these cars, these jobs, all of this is vanity. It's all vanity if you don't know Jesus Christ and you end up in hell. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Do you know Jesus Christ today? He loved you to die for you, Conroe. He offers you a way to escape the wages that you deserve. He offers you a way out of eternal damnation. But this same Jesus says, Repent for you all likewise perish. You must come to him in a contrite heart and humble yourself. Be willing to change. Come to him. We found out what true love is. There's no greater love than a friend given his life. Jesus Christ gave his life for you. He went to the cross and he endured the suffering that we deserved upon himself. He rose from the dead, defeat and death. And he broke down that middle wall that was separating us from God. He leaves you with a choice. He leaves you with a free will choice. You can continue to live the life you want to live, the way you want to live it. Live it in sin. Live it in fornication. Doing drugs. You can end up in hell. Or you can repent. And repent, give your life to Jesus Christ and experience eternal life. He leaves you with that choice. But I'm out here to proclaim that God is real. Heaven and hell is real. You have to make that choice. Every day, 150,000 people die. They didn't know they would die that day. And they're tossed off into eternity. God has sent us out here today trying to draw you in, trying to put the vision in your heart. Found a better way. We're all in hope of Jesus Christ.